Welcome to Soft Reviewed. In this video, we are going to take a look at Google's latest voice cloning and a text to speech. That model is called Chirp and we will be using it for free. If you want to get started for free, first you have to activate the free trial. All the instructions are already in a video that I did earlier. You can find that detailed instructions here where it says how to get $300 free credit. First watch this if you don't know how to activate the free credits then once you are here you can check out this video. Before we start let's look at what are some of the features with this. This is their documentation and as you can see they have different voices. Let's preview some of the voices here. Hi there. We're introducing a new feature where I can read ideas and topics aloud. Hi there. With a We're introducing a new feature where I can read. Hi there. We're introducing a new feature. Hi there. We're introducing a new feature. So as you can see, they have like a lot of really high quality voices here. And these are the supported languages, German, English, and all the other languages here. As you can see, they have a long list of supported languages here. They also have a prompt guide, which will help you like how to create like the scripts and that will really look natural. So yeah, you can go through the script or the best thing is you can use uh, some AI uh, to actually write, just copy all this information and ask it to create like a prompt based on this. I have already done that here. I have given all this instruction and asked uh, it to be in, like my prompt generator so that whenever we give it a text, it can give like the most optimized script for us so that it will sound natural so that's one other tip that i have for you and another thing is that you can also give pause it supports like pause short pause long and the normal pause and you can also change the pacing like you can control the speaking rate for this example we can just look at what's, uh, what it will sound like when it's 0.5 once upon a time then if I increase the speed to like 1.0 Once upon a time, there was a cute cat That's the normal speed Now if I go to 2.0 Once upon a time, there was a cute cat He was so cute that he got that's the different speaking rate control that we can use and we can also add prompt like pauses in between our prompt so, so suppose if this is our text we need to give in this format if we need to add like a pause let's look at this example like here this is the normal text and here how the script with the pause will sound like so first let's hear the normal without the pause let me take a look yes i see it notice that after look and yes there is like a pause long let me take a look yes i see it so if you want to feel like more natural then you can take advantage of these pause options that's the basic control of how you can actually use this so you can definitely go through this documentation to make it more human like and once you are here let's look at the pricing as well the pricing for the voice cloning it's 60 dollar per million token and the voices that we just heard that's free for up to 1 million uh, token per month and after that for the entire one account you will have to pay like 30 dollar per million Account. so it's like characters based on characters if you are like using 1 million token you can expect a charge of 30 dollar but if here we will be using it for free even the voice cloning i will show you like we will be using for free because we are on trial we have activated the free trial and we our account won't be charged during this period that's the basics so i think we have covered all the basics here now if we go to our account as you can see i am running on a free trial this is around like 300 dollars where where i have activated and in order to get started once you are on this website console.google.com uh, then once you see this interface where you are in free trial first check whether the text to speech api is enabled or not then only we can get access to it so for that come here and click on this uh, api and as you can see i have already enabled this if you are not seeing this you can just click on enable api and services then you can search for text to speech text to speech then click on enter and 
and this is what we want to be enabled as you can see i have enabled this api if you have not yet enabled you will see like an enable button here so once that's complete what we can do is we can just click on this vertex a here then we can come to media studio and just click on audio i already covered all the other modalities in my other video if you want you can see how i generate image or video if you are not familiar with it and this is the user interface here that you will be presented with as you can see this is our chip 3 the latest hd voices as we saw earlier in the documentation it supports all these different languages i think it supports all the major languages here and yeah good thing is that it even supports like my local language so that's good to know and and these are some of the voices that's available and if you want to add you need you can clone your voice this is what the pricing that we discussed before about the voice cloning first uh, we will see uh, some voices here as i have told you i have copied that text that prompt and it converted into like an instruction so uh, let's say don't forget to share and subscribe to soft reviewed for more future videos tips and tricks related to ai this can be our like normal text now uh, let me just run this so that it can generate the script for us the given text is what i want to convert into the script so it made some changes um, so this is the generated tts script i'll just copy it here and let's paste it first we will select the female voice all right hey don't forget to like this video share it too and definitely subscribe to soft reviewed that way you won't miss out on more future videos tips and tricks all related to ai thanks yeah, that sounds really natural right i think if we can get like 1 million per month like character per month why would you even go to 11 laps i think this is like tough competition for them and if i want to change this to indian then i can show you that as well so let's keep the voice here and let's play that again all right hey don't forget to like this video share it too and definitely subscribe to soft reviewed that way you won't miss out on more future videos tips and tricks all related to ai thanks so as you can see it's not just english but you can use all these other languages right so if you use like a google translator and convert it into your own native language you can create really good voice over scripts i'll just show you this example i'll just translate this and i can just paste this english here and i can just copy this and i can now change this language to my language alalam female so if i just play it like that sheri hey ee video like cheyan marakkirudu share cheyuga theerchiyayum soft review subscribe cheyuga angane cheyidal ai see how we see it is to convert from different languages and it supports a lot of languages as well so that's one advantage of it and the pronunciation intonation and everything is really good since i am a native speaker of malayalam i can really understand how the quality is really good so you can try it with your own native language as well so just a tip to help you out i don't want to waste the time going to the male voice as well i hope you got the idea right now let's look at how we can now clone our voice right so let this be like so if i just select this united states it will use that accent right taking my voice now let's look at how we can actually clone our voice for that you just need to come to the voice section and you can add a custom voice here here you need to record your voice for that you can use your sound recorder and yes may make sure that the output go to settings and make sure that the output is in wave format because it requires wave and you also need to record this following text as a consent make sure that you speak the same way in the normal conversation and consent otherwise there is a chance that google will reject this thinking that this is some other voice 
so keep the tone and everything uh, same it asked me to create like at least 10 seconds right so when i tested it i first i recorded like a 20 second audio then i got a error message that it cannot exceed 10 seconds so i then again went back recorded again and uploaded like an eight second audio and then it told me like need the sampling rate to be 24k then i converted that to 24k then when i tried to upload it it told me to actually make it was in stereo settings and they wanted me to convert to mono then i converted it to mono and even now i have the final two audios so one is the recording which is like around eight seconds and one is the consent if you look at the properties you can see that it's bono the channels and the sampling rate is like 24k so i have this consent as well now what's puzzling me is that i can also give it a name right when i click on generate voice it should actually generate the voice right you should add our voice after looking at the audio but that's not happening for some strange reason as you can see it's showing like fetch response failed and it's showing like a request study i'm not sure whether it's an issue with my account and uh, let me know if you guys are also facing this issue because i don't know if it's something that i am doing wrong or it's like a temporary glitch or something i wanted to show you guys how the cloning works but uh, for some strange reason it's not working yeah that's it from me i hope this video was helpful if you learned something new please don't forget to share and subscribe so that i can create more videos like this again thank you for watching and have a great day like, share,